Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I will guide you on how to effectively begin your web development journey, outlining the essential step and strategy for success. So yeah, you will likely see many YouTube videos where people share roadmaps for learning web development. However, I understand it can be confusing. So today I'll explain it in simple and easy terms. So let us begin. First of all, if we can talk about the full stack web development, then it is the combination of front end and back end. And if you want to become full stack web development uh, developer, so you will have to start slowly. If you think that you have to learn the whole things at one time, then it will become difficult for you. So as you continue working, you will learn new things. So first of all, let's talk about front end. So in front end, you, ha you have to learn HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and it is useful for uh, the basic structure of, of a website. If you want to create basic structure of your website, then you will use HTML. So first of all, you have to understand how can we create pages, how can we use different different tags, div tags, anchor tags, image tags, video tags, a lot of tags are available. So first of all, you can understand it. After that, you have to learn CSS. CSS stands for cascading style sheet. Uh, it is useful for actually uh, styling your web page. Like if you want to make your web page responsive, beautiful, then you use CSS. After this, you have to understand what is JavaScript. JavaScript is actually useful for making your website interactive. Like if you want to make any kind of logic, then you can use JavaScript. After this, you have to learn Git and GitHubs. Basically, Git is actually a version control uh, and through this we can track the history of changes made to your code. If sometimes goes wrong, wrong like you, can, uh, you cannot understand your code, then you can go back to your previous code. So basically, it allows multiple people to work on the same project without overwriting each other works. So first of all, you have to understand Git and then you have to understand what is GitHub. So GitHub is actually uh, for hosting your website. If you want to host somewhere for your website, then you can use GitHub. After this, you have to understand what is React or Vue. This is actually a framework uh, or we can say that this is tool help you build website faster and more effectively by organize your data. Code. Like uh, in React, all the things are present in the form of component then your website is looking and your code is looking more organized so you have to understand this framework after that you have to come on backend part so in backend part you have to uh, basically the backend is where your website data is stored and managed so learn the basics of how servers databases and apis work you don't need to learn everything at one time. I already told you. After that, you have to learn Node.js. Node.js or Django. These frameworks make backend developer development easier and faster by providing ready more ready-made tools. Okay. So you have to under, uh, learn these things. After that, you have to learn databases. Uh, learn how to store data in databases. There would be a two type of databases SQL, no SQL. So you have to learn these things. After that, you have to learn APIs. APIs helps your website talk to other services uh, and learn how to use and build API to get data from other website or send data to them. And after that, you have to learn deployment. So basically, these are these all are important tips and tricks. You have to understand and learn how web development work, and definitely, um, you will become one of the best web developers. So thank you so much for watching this video.